Hi, my name is Glenn. This is Karen, my wife, and this is our bus. Hello, everyone. So today I'm working on the bus again, of course, and it won't be too long before I'll be uh, drawing out a floor plan in here. So part of that is when you're at the end of the bus, well, it's pretty, pretty clear what you need to do with the end of the bus. It's going to be the bedroom. Then you can kind of start setting your pace for how you're going to work towards the middle of the bus with your bathroom and things like that. And then at the other end of the bus, at the front, then you also need to consider how this is going to terminate here. Then you can kind of start working your way back to the middle of the bus again that way. Part of this front is figuring out these steps, but one of the main uh, things here is to figure out uh, how this driver's seat is going to work out since I'm changing driver's seats. So so this, this pedestal here uh, that I have sitting on the floor uh, is the pedestal from the old driver's seat. The old driver's seat is right there. And of course it's, it's uh, you know, a guy could probably have it reupholstered. Maybe I can move it over for a passenger seat or something. Um, but this, this pedestal here that it sat on is what's gonna have to change. So basically, this this is where it it was and the the bolt holes of course are here and uh, the original bolt pattern is going to have to stay but this pedestal has to be moved over about an inch and a half this way and, uh, uh, and then it also has to be lowered by about an inch and a half and it has to be lengthened by about two inches in order for this pedestal to work for the new seat so that's what i'm going to be working on i'm going to uh, cut this thing up i'm going to spread it out make it longer move it over do whatever i have to do so that i can have the same bolt pattern uh, but then the new bolt pattern will be offset to the new placement of this pedestal once i get this driver's area figured out here uh, how this is going to work here then uh, then I can start zeroing in on my approach into the bus from the from the steps and then I can start to maybe do some floor layout here and kind of see you know that's going to then dictate how the windows are going to be done uh, equipment that's going to go in the bays and things like that so so that's the project for today and I'll go ahead and put that on a time-lapse video and hopefully that'll be kind of fun doing some cutting and some welding on this seat pedestal. So thanks for watching everybody. Take care. So part of the modification of this pedestal is going to be, it's going to need a lot of cleanup. It's got a lot of rust. Um, Paint's flaking off. Uh, some of the rust is pretty, pretty bad here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up to where it needs to be. And then I'll clean it up, clean all the rust off, uh, repaint it, make it real nice. I'll be doing some welding on it, obviously. So that's going to be, you know, you don't want a bunch of rust on there when you're welding either. You at least want to clean the areas that you're, that you're welding on first. Uh, and then, you know, then I'll eventually clean the whole thing up.
Okay, so I think I've got this cut up pretty much to where I need it to be. So if you recall what it looked like before, obviously it's quite a bit different now. So what I had to do was I had to shorten it down to approximately an inch and a half tall. And one of the reasons for that is the new seat has an air cylinder inside that hangs down below uh, where in this case it would hang down into this uh, pan basically if you will so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld these pieces on here and weld these back in and then I've also since the, I've cut these in half then these are basically um, now I can stretch them out where I need them to be so these will end up being about right here so that these two outside holes are 15 inches apart and, and then these holes in this direction are going to be about 11 and 3 quarters of an inch apart. So it just so happened, by the time I cut this off and put it inside, uh, cut this off and put it inside, that that gives me my 11 and 3 quarter inch spread between these, these bolts uh, for both sides or both ends. And then by cutting these in half and stretch them out, I can I can slide them to wherever I need them and this thing should work work out pretty slick. So basically this bracket here, this bracket represents the, the, the front and rear brackets of the seat. They're both the same except they're opposite each other. This end will be like this, this end will be like this. So basically what will end up happening is I'll be able to bolt the seat bolts to this bracket through these holes from the bottom up so those needed a you know you couldn't have anything obviously in the way there which works out just right like that <clears throat> and then when i ha have this bolted down i'll take the seat in and i'll bolt it down uh straight down into these holes uh after this is already mounted <clears throat> so and then the same thing would be on this end of course it's upside down it'd be this way uh, by the time it's all said and done. I'm kind of fabricating as I go. Anyway, this, this side here would be pretty simple. Either way, I'll, I'm going to figure this thing out, get it welded up, and this will be a pretty nice uh, pedestal uh, for the new seats. Okay, so I just want to show the progress that I have on this thing so far. This is the pattern that I need to have. So this bracket will be fastened to the new seat and then the new seat will drop onto this pedestal. And by the time it's done, it'll be setting just about like that. I notched out the backside here uh, for this bolt and for this bracket. Anyway, it's it has a it has a weld nut on the back side, so I had to create a, a space for it to, to go over this lip a little bit. And um, then on this end here, I notched out this piece here. It looks kind of sloppy, but it really doesn't matter. Maybe I notched that out so that by the time this bracket is sitting over this thing, then the, the bolt head from the the bolt that's going to be going up into the seat won't be hitting won't be hitting the back side of this steel here so once i get ready to to weld this up it should just bolt right down on the same bolt holes since i'm using the same bottom piece here and i think this is going to be a, a good little project
Okay. <clears throat> so now that's it for the welding. And I really like these welds. I like the way they came out here. Uh, you can see that there's good, good mixture of metal. Uh, as you're, you're welding, you're, you're combining the metals together and you can see the puddles as you go and you kind of mix the puddles together as it's working along. And, and that's a, a pretty good looking weld in my opinion. Uh, now this is a, this is a, a flex or excuse me, a, a flex core welder. So it doesn't do as nice a job as one that has gas, uh, but it still, it does a pretty nice job. For, for what I'm doing here and I've had one of these welders in the past and I've had pretty good luck with them so this one's actually a little higher amperage than one I've had in the past and this welds pretty well it gets gets it pretty hot so I'm gonna let the scene cool down for a while and uh, and put some of this stuff away here but just to give you an overall view it's pretty hot yet Obviously, you should be using welding gloves and things like that when you're doing this kind of welding. But this all came out pretty good. Anyway, this little this little hammer here kind of knocks away the, the slag as you're welding. Knocks them in here with the with the uh, wire wheel and clean these welds up and I mainly wanted welding around the area of the bolts so I checked my pattern before I welded it this pattern here that I've got here fits right into those bolt holes just perfect so I'm pretty pleased with that and um, and so once I clean this up I'm gonna paint it and for now I'm just gonna let it sit here it's hot and you want to be real careful how you handle this kind of a thing. So, so I'm pretty tickled with, with how all those welds came out there. You can see all those. Some pretty nice, nice stitch welds. About an inch and a half long. It, it's all, even though this is for the seat, it's all kind of relative to, to what all is happening here. The amount of welding is at a greater strength than the amount of bolts so the bolts are just these little 5 16 bolts that holds the seat down so the bolts that go through the floor are big half inch bolts i mean those are way overkill the weakest point are the bolts that holds the seat down to it so if you can build everything stronger than the weakest point then you know you're doing pretty good okay so just finish this video up on this pedestal for the new bus seat i've got the pedestal sitting here and i had to turn some lights on out here because it's dark now but i wanted to get this this video finished up so this pedestal will bolt down in the same bolt pattern as the previous you can see the holes here <clears throat> but then it's it's centered uh more with the center of the steering column so I don't know if you can see it or not, but but the uh, <clears throat> the newly located flanges are now centered with the column where before they were actually offset over this way uh, by actually a couple of inches. So I thought that was kind of odd that the seat would even be uh, that far off. I didn't really notice anything when I was driving the bus. <clears throat> so maybe it's just not really that critical or noticeable but anyway um so i've got this thing all ready to paint and i'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some primer here here in a few minutes and so really so this is going to sit down in a pretty good spot now if i had to move it around a little bit i could still do that by elongating these holes but i wanted it to sit and pretty much bolt in the same as where it was which is where these holes are at the very front here and that's going to give me a centered seat location and the brand new uh, driver's seat will bolt right down to this thing so i appreciate everybody watching this video uh, a lot of detail in this one or a lot of time i, I should say and uh and i just hope everybody uh gets something out of it so thanks for watching everybody and take care